You both received the same instruction. I expect you to protect yourself at all times, keep your punches up, and give me a good, clean break. Touch gloves and good luck. It's great to want to be great. Floyd Mayweather believes he is, and many observers also believe that. Gaddy wants to find out if he is. In his last fight against James Leha, Arturo Gatti was throwing more than 40 jabs per round. Yesterday he told us, my jab is the key to the fight, but I'm not gonna be jabbing Floyd to the head. You watch me jab him in the upper chest, on the shoulders, and particularly, I'm gonna hit that front shoulder with my hook so many times, his arm's gonna fall off. As for Mayweather, he's been fighting many of his recent fights up close in the pocket, where he's very hard to hit because of his elusiveness, and very solid with that straight right hand, and you just saw him rake. Yeah, got to start out with a jab good, but he's so much taller than Mayweather that it's hard for him to catch up with, with Mayweather. Mayweather hooked him off his jab already. And, and the difference in hand speed is immediately apparent. Gaddy with a right uppercut. Gaddy says, Floyd hasn't felt power like mine. Every time I hit him, I'm going to hurt him. Mayweather says, sure, sure he is. That straight right hand already appears to have done a, a modicum of damage to Gaddy's left eye, which has a red spot around it. in the ring where Floyd isn't comfortable. What did the referee stop the action for just then? I have no idea, and Earl Morton is known <laughs> in the past hey, hey, as a referee hey, who lets people fight. Huh? But it's a big event. Maybe everybody's a little nervous. Whipped left hook by Mayweather. Gaddy trying to make that jab a factor. He's been a little more reticent to throw in the last minute after getting raked in the first minute. Good left hand by Gaddy. Stops Mayweather's right. And his jab just offset one of, one of Mayweather's combinations there, so it's smart of him to use his jab. But Mayweather's using his too. Painting as he comes in, trying to set up a right hand. Arturo feels he needs to land something solid early to make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hits Arturo with a left hook on the break, and now there's a knockdown in round one. And Gaddy can't believe that. Six, seven, eight. Come on, Gaddy. That's fucking bullshit. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Gotta protect yourself at all times. But that's when the referee will make a call that I ain't really called. That's why I had when he came in and stopped before earlier. That was not a great first round for referee Earl Morton. Take you off your game plan, okay? Now listen, keep stepping around to your right, okay? You're staying in front of him a little too long. You're staying low, beautiful. When you're moving over, you're getting under the hook. Start shooting the right hand to his body. Don't try to hit him in the head with it, okay? Don't let that get you off your plan. Don't let it get you off your plan, baby. Don't worry about it. That's only one round, okay? Don't worry about it. He's probably here again. He's going by there. The only goal is going to get busted up. All right, here you see Floyd jump in with a hook. Uh, got it, got low. His head was on. Got his neck. He hit him first by while he was down. The referee comes like he's gonna come in. He's waiting for the referee to say something about him. Hit him while he's down like that. And Floyd hits him with another hook. I can't blame Mayweather. He took advantage of the opportunity that was presented to him he's in a professional to. way. He's supposed to. I, I agree, but I thought the referee could have stepped in. He should have when the head was on the neck. And the arm was on the neck. Gaddy got nowhere near Mayweather's body in round one. Quick left hooks by Mayweather, forcing Gaddy to keep his right hand in.
The bad thing about uh, about this case, I think, is that this favors Mayweather. Mayweather appears willing to take some risks when he gets inside. And again, the hand speed advantage readily apparent in the first two rounds. Floyd able to beat Arturo to the punch from distance and able to land two or three to Arturo's one when they get in close. Three punches there. Gaddy seems off stride. Roy doesn't seem sure of what he wants to do. No, he's not sure because his speed. He used to guys being able to hit when he throws these big punches, but Florida's not there. Florida's defense is ex exceptional, and people didn't understand that. There's a body shot. Left hook to the body. First time that Gaddy's had a chance to throw to the ribcage. Left hook grazed Gaddy's chin. And another big left hook catches him slightly. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed. Maybe too much power, too. Entirely too much speed. And if Gotti lets him sit, out, sit outside and box at this pace all night, he'll pick him to death like this all night. Gotti's going to have to sell out to get inside. There's no way he can win the fight fighting at range like this. No way possible. Come on, walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Swelling under both of Gotti's eyes. Gaddy brought back his old cut man, Joe Souza, after Souza, showing loyalty to the fighter he had first worked for, switched to James Lehigh in the last fight. After some initial anger about it, Gaddy said, hey, I gotta appreciate Joe for his loyalty, and he's done great work for me. He certainly has, and he may need to do great work again tonight. Oh, the glove. Huge left hook. And the straight right. Arturo hasn't really landed anything big in the first two rounds. It's been a landslide for Floyd Mayweather. At this rate, it's hard to imagine Gaddy lasting into the late rounds. Listen to me. You're not doing what we worked on. You're not doing what we worked on. You stand in front of him too long. You're standing too straight up. Come on, baby, don't get up your plan now. Attack it from an angle. You're standing in front of him, getting hit with right hand leaves, baby. Keep the left hand out in front. Stay low. Come on, champ, baby. Come on, baby. You can do this. Okay? They know what the fuck they're up again. Keep touching him with the jab. He's busting up all right. All you got to do is keep checking, keep checking his ass with that hook. Stand him with the right hand when you want to. How you feel? All right, bro. Feel good? Wait, he see Floyd landing the straight right lead at will, come back with the left hook following it. Ends it with a right to the body, then another right over the top. Floyd Mayweather loves the spotlight. CompuBox numbers in round two, Gaddy four out of 42, Mayweather 27 out of 47. If it was an election, they'd project the winner right now. <laughs> in boxing, the hair usually beats right, the tortoise. Walking, just walking right out. Just walking right out. I said walking. Harold Letterman okay. has scored 10-8 in each of the first two rounds. That's how big a landslide the second round was in Letterman's view, because there was no knockdown. Still, he scored at 10-8. I scored it a 10-9 round. I did, although Mayweather clearly won it, I don't think he inflicted that much damage. The hand speed is making it very difficult for Gotti to get anything started right now. Let his hand go. Let his hand go. Hey! Bring it well, up. He, Bring got it. A, he got in a good low blow, and he may need it. Earl Morton asking Gaddy to keep him up. Earl Morton's only refereed five world championship fights, and his inexperience may have contributed to the confusion in round one. Gaddy acknowledged to us yesterday that he didn't expect to win the first four rounds, but surely he expected it to be more of a fight than this. 
Mayweather really is on point tonight. He's very sharp. He's not allowing Gotti to make no mistakes. Every mistake that Gotti makes just about, he's capitalizing off of it. And Arturo Gatti's right eye is swelling badly. Come on, let's go. Box. Now Morton stops Mayweather and says, you keep him up. Thank God he landed a pretty good right hand there. Didn't seem to really have no effect on Floyd. Yaddy is very protective with his right hand. Mayweather's been so quick with the left hook. Mayweather sticks a jab. He's landing more or less at will in these first three rounds. There's a vicious right hand over the top. And another one just for good measure. The crowd trying to rouse Gaddy. But so far, Mayweather has taken the crowd out of the fight. Most of them apparently I stunned right by walk the, the right utter one-sidedness of it so far. Yeah, Gotti can't beat him at this at this distance or this pace for sure. Clark can do this for three years. Enjoy this classic rebroadcast. We remind you to mark your calendars for these upcoming boxing shows. November 4 on HBO Pay Per View, Carlos Baldemir makes the second defense of his welterweight crown against pound for pound king Floyd Mayweather Jr. November 11 on World Championship Boxing, Vladimir Klitschko defends his portion of the heavyweight championship against American Calvin Brock. November 18 on HBO Pay Per View, the rubber match between 130 pound superstars Manny Pacquiao and Eric Morales. And December 2 on World Championship Boxing, Winky Wright looks to stay on course for a rematch with Jermaine Taylor as he faces Ike Quarte. Log on to HBO.com for a complete schedule of upcoming boxing. How you feel? How you feel? Keep that stiff jab on that. Hard to hit, hard to bite. Show the hard one to the body. When you keep looking for that, when you keep looking for that, slide that right hook in there on his ass. Off the in the head too much. Hey, make a beat that whole thing, buddy. Okay? You got it. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby. Come on. Don't worry, baby. Don't get upset, okay? Let's go out there now. Let's fight like I know you can fight. Let's get the head movement going. Come on, baby, like we did in the gym. Get the upper body movement. Just step around. Got to stay in your corner. Go back and stay in your corner, man. Let's go. Well, you saw the overwhelming copy box numbers through round three. They throw about the same number of punches. One guy lands 20, the other guy lands 70. Harold, how do you have it so far? <laughs> okay, Jim. Three to nothing, 30 to 25. Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I gotta tell you something. I gotta talk about that first round. Now listen, boxing's got rules just like any other game. If the referee doesn't yell, stop or break, okay? And you stand there looking at the referee. Floyd Mayweather had every right to hit Arturo Gatti and knock him down. Morton did nothing wrong whatsoever. Gatti objected to the fact that Floyd grabbed him behind the head. But if you don't hear the referee yell, stop, I mean, Floyd can hit him. Three to nothing, Mayweather. Ah, bring it up, bring it up. Okay, that's it. So Harold exonerates the referee and doesn't necessarily think he should have stepped in when Mayweather appeared to be holding Gaddy's head down. And there's a vote for Earl Morton in round one. We're well into the fight now, round four, and Arturo Gaddy, to my view, Roy, hasn't landed a single body punch. That's a very bad sign. And that's what Buddy just told him. You're not going to the body. You're all here, hun. And that's because of the fans in here. It's getting brutal in there. As Mayweather fires at will. Oh. 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 A tattoo I got is taken right now. A heavy tattoo. One that he won't be able to respond to like he does in normal fights. Right because Floyd right won't be that for him to respond to it.
You don't get the sense that any one uh, punch by Mayweather is hurting Gaddy yet, but the numbers of them are. It's just discouraging to him because everything he does, he gets hit seven times. That left eye is starting to close. He can't seem to get rid of no punches anymore. It's got to be discouraging, but you got to give him credit for the heart because he's still trying his hardest. Yes, tremendous heart. But it, it's hard to see how he has a clue about landing anything big or effective. And that was what the game plan was supposed to be about. Landing oh. big shots. Come on, baby, you're waiting too long. You're looking for that one punch, Arturo. Stop, man. Come on, take your time, but you got to get up your hands go. You're not letting your hands go, baby. All right, you, you're aiming too much for the head. Keep stepping around. Keep your head, your upper body moving. You can do it, baby. Let's go. Yeah, 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 I'm getting punished anyway, so fuck it. Good work, baby. Beautiful work. Totally good work from the beginning. He see Floyd land a straight right hand, left jab, another straight right hand, another left jab, another straight right hand, just, just did miss and followed with a hook at the end. He hit got it with everything he throws at him anytime he gets ready. The problem Gaddy is having is that at close quarters, Mayweather sees everything coming and his hands are so fast that Gaddy doesn't have a chance to respond. I don't know when I've seen more one-sided copy box numbers. Mayweather 32 out of 60 in that round. Gaddy 5 out of 37. Larry, you probably saw a lot of the action between Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta. Was it ever this one-sided? Well, I don't go quite back that far. I don't remember that. But LaMotta was extremely strong and uh, could come forward uh, through some of Robinson's punches. There Gaddy gets in a left to the body. His best and most purposeful punch so far. I have to take all the punches he's taking. For him to come and still be throwing shots like that says a lot about Gotti, son. Ah, stop! Well, oh. there's an old phrase about the guts of down. a burglar. Come on, I now. doubt there's a burglar Let's alive who has right, the guts of Arturo Gatti. Don't hold his head, Floyd. You know, everybody there, remem remembers in history Robinson Lamada, but, you know, uh, Willie Pep had a great deal of... Uh, trouble with a fighter who just jumped in on him and gave him all kinds of, uh, of problems. So sometimes speed can be neutralized, but Gaddy hasn't shown that he can do it yet. Ah, stop. Sandy Sadler was the fighter I was thinking of, who I believe beat Ge Pep three out of four. But uh, Gaddy has been unable to, to upset uh, Mayweather at all. He's been unable to get in close and rough him up. Stop, stop, stop. Don't put the forearm in his face, okay? Okay, let's go. Box. See, Floyd taking his time, trying to let a little bit, a little bit of punishment soak in on, on what's on uh, got it. And he's trying to catch him with a big shot. I hope you heard him when he's not expecting it. Giving Gotti fans a chance to see something what they came to see. Straight right hand by Mayweather twists Gaddy's head around. Crashes another straight right hand right off of the Gaddy noggin. Gaddy's had a couple moments of competitiveness in this round, but as as Roy Jones suggests, Mayweather may simply be allowing him to open up to create opportunities. across the top, just missed for Gaddy. Right hands by Mayweather land like lasers. Ah! And at this rate, the question is, how long will Arturo be able to see Mayweather's punch is coming, if in fact he still can? Not much longer. 
You hear me? You're not moving your head. Okay, what's the matter? Talk to me, baby. I told y'all, you don't get his ass whooped. On HBO. Punch that ass. Punch that ass. Do what you want to do. He did now. Here you see that, like we said earlier, one straight right hand. Jab, jab, another straight right hand, another hook. I mean, just five or six punch combinations at a time. Got to carry nothing about it. Totally a mismatch on, mismatch on hand speed. Totally a bad fight for Chiro Gata, which I said from the get-go. But let's see what happens. Again, I don't know when I've seen more one-sided punch stat numbers. Gaddy has landed eight out of 47 power punches thrown through the fifth round. Mayweather's landed 81 of 141. So every time Floyd lands power punches in bunches, he is putting greater distance between himself and Arturo Gatti. Mayweather wearing winning gloves, an Asian-made glove with Emmanuel Stewart called pillows on our air. He thinks they'll help protect his brittle hands, which have oft been broken in the past. Gaddy's wearing Everlast, the conventional brand. He breaks his right hand virtually every time he fights. In case you're wondering whether Mayweather will get tired, he sometimes spars 10 or 15 minute rounds with different sparring partners moving in to increase his stamina. Too much hands. Oh, by the shot. By the shot. Hurt, hurt Arturo Gatti real bad. Gatti, yeah. By the shot, throws Arturo. Buddy McGirt keeps telling Gatti not to worry. I'm wondering if he shouldn't throw in the towel. Yeah, by the shot, hurt it real bad then. This is humiliating. Floyd Mayweather promised exactly this. He promised he would humiliate Arturo Gatti before his fans. I can't understand who wouldn't see this, though, before it happened. Much of the crowd is on its feet in awe of the display that Mayweather's putting forth. How in the world can Gatti keep taking it? We need to stop this, because he's done. The mask little Roy Jones pass off the fight. And I mean, just I one guy totally out of pass. Not going to land the punch because he's Floyd. not fast enough Come to on. put the big punch on Floyd Mayweather. As we said earlier, 
It was Gaddy who wanted this fight, not his promoters. That's all right, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. PC floor pops out and all night, straight right lead. Straight right lead again, couldn't miss. Straight right lead again, three straight rights in a row, just could not miss the guy. There you see a jab to the body, overhand right there, Graves, another left body shot. That's the shot that really hurt him and started all the trouble right there. That left body shot was big. Overhand right over the top, jab, another right to the body. And it was just a matter of time at this point. You got nothing to be ashamed of, champ. You understand me? Nothing, baby. Huh? Yeah, I'm not gonna let you get hurt, baby. I love you too much. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the particulars on the TKO. And new WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World, still undefeated, Pretty Boy, Floyd. 